What's up YouTube, it's Robo13 and today I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to convert and to compress all of your video files and you won't lose any quality at all. So my favorite program is called Handbrake. I have it right up here in this top right corner. Uh, this is my favorite program that I use to compress my video formats and all my videos that I upload to YouTube. Because uh, I use it personally because it doesn't lower your quality. I mean, I honestly cannot tell the difference between uh, my regular video and my uh, converted file. I cannot tell the difference at all. Uh, between the two uh, compressed versions. So like right here, I have two different versions. I have uh, Tekkit number 14 fixed and Tekkit number 14 fixed dash one. Uh, this one is the uncompressed version. You guys can see right there, it's 1.12 gigabytes. I'll even open up the properties. Right here is 1.12 gigabytes. Now here's the compressed version. And this is 584 megabytes. So it's about half the size. And when you get into like the really, really big files, like I've had like 300 gig files before from recording with fraps and handbrake will con it will compress that down to like two or three gigs so it it'll compress it a whole ton once you get into the uh, higher higher gigabytes uh, but it won't lose any quality like I said so it will compress it pretty much for like the smaller files it pretty much do half and then the as farther up you go with the gigabytes it, it's like exponential it'll continue to uh, lower the uh, size of it but it won't reduce the quality so to use it you just download it it's free to download I'll have links in the description you guys can go check it out uh, you just open it up like this and then a little program pops up like this uh, it's very easy to use you click on up here on source click on source actually I'm going to use this one right here my tech at number 15 this is going to be my on uh, my uh, Minecraft channel this is what I use to upload it uh, so here's tech at number 15 I have not compressed this yet so currently it is 721 megabytes so it's not that big but I would like to get that compressed even smaller so that I can upload it faster so it's 721 megabytes so I'm going to uh, click on source right here on handbrake and then click on video file then I'm going to search for that video. So I know where it is. It's on my desktop already. So I'm going to go down, find tech at number 15, which is right here, and hit open. Okay, and then it's going to process it. And it's going to say tech at number 15 is the source. There's the title. And then you can just select the destination. Uh, you hit browse. You can hit on the desktop is what I typically do. And then you can name it whatever you want. I'll name it tech at number 15-1 because uh, that's what it is going to call it. And I think I already have one like that. But, uh, yeah, it's over there in the uh, uh, left-hand corner or whatever over there. But I'm just going to overwrite it anyway. So I'm going to hit replace. Yes. So now it's going to save this file as a .mp4. And it's going to save it as tech at number 15-1. You can name it whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. Uh, and then you can change the size down here. Uh, it'll, it'll take the sources, uh, like definition, like mine was tw uh, 1280 by 720. And it'll take that and it'll make that the output as well. But you can change it if you wanted to, like if you want to make it smaller. If you if you want to make it bigger, I guess you could, but it would like lose the quality. So uh, I would I would keep it what the source is. So my source is 1280 by 720 because that's how I record my Minecraft videos in. And I'm going to keep it as that. And that's really all you have to do. Then you just come up here and hit start. Once you hit start, it'll start to compress it. And it only takes, I mean, it really is pretty quick with uh, pretty small videos. I mean, this one is 16 minutes and 20 seconds and it's probably only going to take a few minutes to compress this whole file uh, but once that's fully done I'll show you guys what happens right when it's about to finish and right when it uh, finishes and you guys can see the difference between this one right here which is 721 megabytes and the one that's going to be compressed to so I'll show you guys that in a few seconds right when I'm done uh, compressing it all right, you guys can see down here, it's almost done. Uh, it says down here, like, the time remaining, the elapsed time. It took about three minutes, and you guys can see the counter right there as it's counting up to 100%. Gives you your average FPS and your current FPS, and it's almost done. 99.99%. So there we go, encoding finished. That took about f less than four minutes. So that's really quick for a 16-minute and 20-second video. I mean, the, the higher, like... 1080p type videos and the higher the gigabyte and the longer the video it's going to take longer obviously but this is a really quick compression uh, program so I'm going to minimize this for now and I'm going to bring this up to here so let's see the difference between this version and tech at number 15 so this compressed it to 339 megabytes versus tech at number 15 which was the uncompressed version which was 721 again you're going to see a lot bigger difference when you have larger video files but this does really help especially with people who have slower internet kind of like myself who can't upload huge videos really quickly I need to be able to compress them so I can upload them a lot faster than I would 
uh, the other version. Like I can upload Tekken number 15-1 over here a lot faster than I can upload this one because it's half the size. So it's really going to upload like twice as fast because it's half the size. So uh, that's that's really helpful for me. I'm, I guarantee it's going to be helpful for you guys. Go check it out. It's a free program. You can see if you like it. I really cannot notice the difference between call, uh, quality. It looks exactly the same as the original video, which I love. So, you, I mean, you guys go check it out. See it for yourself. Uh, it's called Handbrake. I'll have links in the description. So uh, definitely go check it out. It's a free program. So you have no no reason not to it could help you guys out a lot especially with compressing your videos Okay, and I just want to show you guys really quick that it does work on the Mac It's pretty much the exact same process as the Windows uh, Process that I showed you guys a little bit before but it's the same thing you go up and click source This will pop up you then select whatever video you want say I wanted to select uh, My volume test down here. I hit open It'll then put it into here. You can name it whatever you want. It'll save it again as a .mp4, and then you can hit browse and save it to wherever you want. I normally always save it on my desktop right there. Uh, you can change the size again down here and up here in the picture settings for the Mac. You guys can see it right here. You can change the uh, picture settings here. If you change this to custom, you can change it to whatever you want, but I always keep it to uh, the source so I don't distort the quality at all. And then you just hit start and it'll encode just as it did on the PC and then it'll pop out as a .mp4 and it will be a lot smaller. So actually I can show you guys really quick. I think if I have an extra one saved, I might have thrown it away in my trash somewhere let me find it really quick all right here we go i got my volume test right here my dot mov and my dot mp4 these are the two files that i have uh compressed or the uh, mp4 one is the compressed one the dot mov is a non-compressed one so this one is if i can bring this over here is you guys can see right here 2.46 gigabytes and now it's so big because i used it with screenflow and screenflow saves huge video files uh so and then i just compressed this one it's the exact same video remind or remember that and this one is 56 megabytes. You guys can see it right there. 2.4 gigabytes to 56.9 megabytes. And it did not lose any quality at all. So yeah, definitely go check this program out. I love it. I use it literally for every single one of my videos. Go check it out and I'll go back to my PC now. So I hope you guys like this video. Please hit that like button down below if you do. Uh, it helps me out a ton and only takes you guys a second. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, you should go ahead and do that. I do a ton of tech videos, as you guys can tell here. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. But please hit that subscribe button so you guys can support me, support my videos, and help me out. I have passed 7,100 subscribers. You guys are amazing. You guys are changing my life. You have no idea how much I want to thank you guys, each and every single one of you. But uh, I, the only way I can really do that is through these videos. So thank you so much. I hope you guys continue to like my videos and continue to watch me and support me uh, and that's pretty much it So I hope you guys like this program. I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys